Okay, here fam, I got five pounds of legs, okay? That right there is three cups of all-purpose flour. That's the vegetable oil we're going to fry it in. You're also going to need some buttermilk, okay? You're going to need some chili powder, some Saison seasoning, all right? You're going to need some onion and garlic powder with some salt, definitely, okay? And you're also going to need some black pepper, black pepper and some complete seasoning okay and for the sauce on the side you're going to need some i'm going to use some louisiana hot sauce and some raw honey mostly honey and then mix it a little bit a little bit of syrup with mine okay but i get this idea fam from um on instagram from instagram at eat with zo yes sir young guy that is two cups of butter milk okay we're going to pour that in. Now, this is what I'm making for the marinade, all right? That's what it's going to marinate in for one hour. Two cups of buttermilk, one half cup of Louisiana hot sauce, and we're going to use uh, one and a half tablespoon of some Saison seasoning. We're going to mix it in. We're going to let it marinate for one hour. Yes, fam, I got this particular idea. Of, it, it, a lot of us have heard of hot honey chicken and done seen it made, but I like the way he made it, so... But uh, I, I piggybacked off of him, but I added a couple of more ingredients in mine. You know how I do. Stick with your boy. I got to put that G Rich spin on it. But it's at Eat With Zoe or Eat With Zoe. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely following him now because I like the way, the way he cooks and the way his food came out. I really did. So I want to bring it to y'all, fam. Yes, sir. Okay, we're going to mix it up real good and let it marinate for one hour. Okay. Then we're going to come back, okay? After we let them in, we're going to come back and we're going to coat it with the flour. And this is seasoned flour. So we're going to put one-fourth of a cup of garlic powder in the flour, one tablespoon of onion powder, okay? Then we're going to go with one tablespoon of chili powder, followed by one tablespoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons in there two tablespoons of complete seasoning all right and we're going to go ahead and mix this up and that's one tablespoon of regular salt we're going to mix it up real good okay then we're going to coat the chicken when it's ready we're going to coat the chicken and we're going to sit it to the side on that rack i have right there we're going to let it sit for about five minutes because that's how you make it make the chicken crunchy it's going to be crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside all right yes sir instead of thinking we'll look at that you can see the ingredients in there you can see the seasoning in the flour if I, as, as, as he said if you don't if you don't see it in there don't look right and he's absolutely correct all right so we're going to coat it real good all right and then we're going to sit it to the side for like five or ten minutes then we're going to begin to fry as you can see i don't turn the stove on so i'm gonna have to turn that off in a minute fam <laughs> I'll jump the gun because we want to do this right. We want to sit it to the side and let it, let it, but you know, after I get all of them coated good, we're going to wait five minutes and then we begin to fry. That way, you know, it will be ready to, uh, uh, you want it because you want to fry it right. It'd be ready to go because you want to fry it at 375 degrees. I wouldn't go past 380. Okay. 
because you want it nice and crispy. Now it's showtime. You're getting ready to fry in a minute. Okay, we're going in. Look at that. It's coated real good. Yes, sir. Drop it right on in there. Ooh, we. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. So now, when it comes out, it, well, you'll know when it's done, when the chicken starts to float. And that's when we're going to, each batch, we're going to cook it for like, uh, since their legs with all this seasoning on it, for 15, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Now we're going to make the sauce. That is one full cup. One full cup of honey mixed with a little bit of syrup, okay? Then we have, okay, we're going in with uh, one half a cup, just one half a cup of Louisiana hot sauce. And one so we can make this sauce. Mix it up, mix it up real good. And then what we're gonna do, sit that to the side. Once the, all the chicken is ready, we're gonna sit it to the side on some parchment paper. Then we're gonna um, put the sauce onto the chicken and then we're gonna flip it on the other side and coat that as well. Make sure that the chicken good and, and coated. Then we're gonna sit it on another plate to the side. All right, let it sit and then I'm gonna taste it for you at the end. Let you see how it tastes. How about that, huh? Yes, sir. Now that's good. I want, see how thin mine is? That's what I wanted. Cause that's why I put a half a cup of uh, Louisiana hot sauce. I want to stretch it out a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a thing of beauty. Don't worry, it will coat the chicken real good and stick to it. Now let's check on the chicken. It should be ready to go. You can see it's floating. That's what I'm pointing at. Ooh wee. Look at that, fam. Mama, there goes that man. Ooh, look at that. Yes, sir. Mm, 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 mm. Now that's the thing of beauty. All right, so we're gonna go put these to the side and then we're gonna begin the next wave. Mm, mm. Yes, sir, we're gonna make sure you drain. I'm draining all the oil off the chicken. I don't want that on my um meat, especially don't want it uh, 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 mi mixing with the sauce that I'm gonna put on there. Uh -uh. Drain it real good, there you go. Yeah, so look how, look at it. Look how, did you see the crunch on the outside? That's what I'm pointing at, fam. Look at the crunchiness. Yes, sir. Okay. Dropping one in with the second wave. Okay. Now, we're going to move on towards the end so I can show you when I put the sauce on there, all right? Okay, I got them laid all out. Look at that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and, ooh, wee, it's still crunchy, fam. And it's been sitting for like five to ten minutes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pour it on there. Yep. Get it on there real good. Yes, sir. Real good. Uh-huh. And then we're going to flip it on the other side and do the same thing because we want to make sure it get fully coated all throughout the chicken. We made we made enough sauce. Sauce. So, um, so that it can um, cover each piece as well. And we, as you can see, we got nine pieces. So it came out absolutely perfect. If that chicken don't look like this, a little dark like that, nice and crisp, but not burnt. If it don't look like that, you did something wrong, fam. So follow it to a T. All right. And once again, shout out Eat at Eat with Zoe on Instagram. Young brother got got it going on. Know what he's doing too. If I if it's especially if I if I if I want to follow a recipe of yours and 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 it look good to me, yeah, I'm gonna shout you out because you definitely do deserve it. Look at that! Oh we look at that family. That's picture perfect or mag magazine perfect. Yeah, sir. It don't get no better than that. Ooh. Mm mm. Each side. Look at that all the way around, fam. Let it rotate, let it rotate, let it rotate. <laughs> O-M-G. The Chicken King has done it again. Ooh, now I'm going to taste a piece for y'all. Father, thank you for the food I'm about to receive. May it nourish my body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Bam. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> hey, fam, love y'all to life. G Rich out. It's another one in your mind. Bye, y'all.